Hey guys, it is me again. Waiting for my little pop up bubble to pop up, but evidently it's not going to. So, uh, my mouse is not wanting to work. Anyway, guys, today is uh, Monday the um, 6th, May the 6th. That makes it day 126. I'm a Daily Bread Project 2013. Guys, I'm. Uh, as always, I hate, to say that, I hate to say this too much. I'm sorry for not being here the last couple nights, last two or three nights. Um, guys, I've been, I don't know if it's where I've been sick or what, but I've been, my teeth have been, I've been having so many teeth problems the few, last few days. Um, matter of fact, I had a piece of one break out tonight. It, it actually, a little piece of it broke out a day or so ago, and it had a sharp edge on it. That's about drove me crazy. Well, that's got my tongue cut up and swollen up and all the pieces. Well, tonight, um, some more of it fell out. So there is, I got another rough edge now. Over here, and you may be of any, I uh, know this webcam's not good enough uh, definition to tell, but right up here where I've had some uh, teeth problem, my gum has actually swelled out as big around as my finger, and it's got my jaw poached out, and it's about, about to kill me, guys. Um, like I said, I think it's maybe because, you know, I've, where I've been sick and stuff, and, you know, that led to an infection, you know, because, I mean, my teeth are horrible. I mean, I'm not going to deny that, but it's, even yet, it's usually for your teeth to swell up and start hurting, it's because they're infected. So I think that's kind of started an infection, but uh, anyway, uh, Dad's going to call tomorrow, call and uh, get me an appointment either later this week, probably next week. It, it usually takes at least about a week to get in, but uh, so I can start having them, start having them fixed. So uh, I've put it off too long, I guess. So uh, I know some of you would get on to me over that. Uh, I know uh, my bad voodoo used to stay on to me all the time about my teeth. And I know that, that having bad teeth health is, can, can lead to heart problems and everything else. So I always think about that now. So I'm glad Richard, you know, I knew it anyway, but I guess it t it told me uh, it it took Richard telling me to uh, you know to kind of let it sink in. So uh, every time I try to think of it now, that's what I think of. I think about uh, Richard, you know, telling me. I think he actually had a friend that died because of his teeth. That his teeth, you know, and it got so infected, and the infection uh, went to his heart and killed him. I've heard of that happening. So anyway, thank you, brother Richard, for that. If you see this. Um, you know, because it does keep my mind on it. So, like I said, hopefully next week, at least in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna start, uh, you know, start having them worked on. So at least try to save the, save my front ones. You know, save the ones that I've still got. Uh, and start getting these old pieces and these old broke back ones and stuff. Start getting them yanked out. I guess that's what I dread. You know, if it was just going and having them feel and that kind of stuff, it, it's you know, I've got several that are broke off, broke even with the gums. And, you know, just get pieces hanging and, it, you know, I know that, you know, all they can do is pull them. And I just, I dread that. I dread that so bad, having teeth pulled. Uh, so, you know, because it's, I mean, it's it's pain. you got to go through pain do, doing it. you got to go through pain afterwards. And, you know, you got to deal with blood and, you know, just jaw swelled for days and can't hardly talk and, and that's the thing about it, when you're somebody like me, as most of you guys know, that has been a drug addict once before in their life, you know, the pills that they want to write you when they pull teeth to kind of help you through it, I can't take, you know. Uh, so there you got, you're trying to get through this, you know, having teeth pulled and sitting here about to die with pain trying to get through it, you know, on a motion. You know, and it's, it's you know, it makes a difference, so. Anyway, they, you know, that's why I put it off, you know, just to be honest about it. That's why I keep putting it off, putting it off. And I'm afraid that they're going to end up telling me that some of them that are broke off even with the gums and stuff, oh, well, we're not going to be able to pull them. We're going to send you to an oral surgeon. Even though I've already had two dentists look at them and tell me, yeah, we can we can get them out. Still, you know, my my fear is that they're not going to be able to get them out. They're going to send me to an oral surgeon. And, you know, them places are a thousand bucks to walk in the door, you know, and, uh, can't afford that. So anyway, guys, just pray for me over that. Because my teeth, man, I tell you, they that's my one of my biggest regrets in life is not taking better care of my teeth. You know, I mean, it's just, I do now. You know, last few years I've take, taken pretty good care of them, but it's one of the deals that it, it's too late, you know, once you let them go too far. Uh, 
So anyway, guys, just pray for me over that. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll get started tonight, guys. I don't really have much jibber jabber about. Just normal stuff, guys. Keep praying, praying for a business. So far, we've been, you know, so far this spring, so far early spring. Well, again, I guess next month we'll be in the summer. But you know, so far we've been pretty busy. I've drew paychecks most weeks. You know, I've, I've had I've had a couple that I either didn't get one or didn't get much, but you know, not too bad. So, um, pray for the church, of course, guys. Uh, you know, it's one of them deals. We've had a few people kind of fall out and quit coming in the last little bit, but then we've had three or four new people start coming. So it's kind of, you know, it, you know, I'd rather have the new people without losing anybody, but you know, it's one of them deals. Um, you know, it's in the Lord's hands, and and I think, just to be honest about it, maybe the people that we've gained, and I see that a whole lot, that the, a lot of times the people you gain, you can tell that maybe they're a better fit, or you know, maybe they're maybe they're going to work harder for the Lord, or you know, just whatever the, the the situation may be. You know, that that usually it's for the good. So anyway, guys, pray for all that. I know you guys will. Uh, Brother Milo, if you see this, I know you. if you see it, you'll probably be the first comment tonight. You usually are. Um, I watched your video uh, where you're talking about compassion. I really got a kick out of that, which I think I commented on it. So, Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get started tonight. Genesis chapter 6, starting in verse 8. Of course, we were talking about how wicked the world had got, like it is again. And uh, God finally said enough, like he's getting ready to again. <laughs> and... Uh, so here's where we're at. So in Genesis 6, 8, guys. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. <laughs> Down a little bit wheezy, too. <clears throat> These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just and perf just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. Uh, hang on, guys. I don't know why this thing does that. If you make a mislick with this, uh, with your uh, e-sword, and my my mouse is acting funny right now. It's not wanting to, you know, grab exactly right. But anyway, it, it'll it, if you make a mislick and hit somewhere that you shouldn't hit, it, it'll automatically go to John. So. Uh, Anyway, the earth was also corrupt before God, verse 11, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, that the end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and, I, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood, room shall thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, and bread, breadth of it 50 cubits, and the height of it 30 cubits. A window shall make to the ark, shall thou make to the ark, and in a cubit shall thou finish it above. And the door of the ark shall thou set in the side thereof, with lower, second, and third stories shall thou make it. And behold, I even, excuse me guys, let me start that again. And behold, I, even I, that sounds better, don't it? Do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons, and thy wife, and thy sons' wives with thee. And of every living thing of all flesh, Two of every sort shall thou bring into the ark to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female. A fowls of their kind, excuse me, a fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind, two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. And guys, we're, since we only got a couple verses left, we're going to go ahead and read them. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Oh, I tell you guys, these computers, uh, the way this mouse is acting, 
I don't know if it's the mouse. I don't think it's the mouse pad. You know, I don't think the mouse pad's got something on it or something. But anyway, uh, you know, guys, this stuff, this, what I was going to get at and say is these com um, computer screens. You know, I struggle sometimes. Of course, you know, it being late at night doesn't help anything either. But, you know, it, it amazes me how much easier it is to read the Bible out of a book than it is off a computer screen. Once I read a minute off a computer screen, I just, I don't know, I get to where I, I just can't, I don't, I'm not going to say I can't see it good. It's not bad. I don't know what it is. Some of you guys may have that same problem too. You really read it out of a book if you can. But this is a lot easier. You know, it's a lot easier for me to do and, and, uh, and all that. So anyway, guys, again, thank you all for being here. I love you guys. I really do. Thanks for putting up with my missing when I do. Um, I think that's about it as far as, as far as I can remember, guys. Just keep praying for us. I pray for you all. Good Lord willing, guys. I'll be back here tomorrow night. Until I see you all again, good night and God bless.